Hey everyone, welcome back to the Dentosum channel. Today we are thrilled to have Dr. Aswati Nayar with us. She absolutely crushed the recent INICT exam and we are diving deep into her preparation journey. Whether you're a seasoned dental student or just starting your INICT preparation, this interview is packed with valuable insights and we will be discussing Dr. Aswati Nayar's background, motivation, the specific strategies that led to her success. We'll cover everything from creating the perfect study schedule to tackling those tricky medical subjects. We will also explore the role of coaching institutes, time management on exam day, and essential advice for interns just starting their preparation. So buckle up future INICT champions and get ready to learn from the best. And let's jump right in and, doc and hear Dr. Aswati Nair's story. To begin with, ma'am, can you tell us a bit about your background and when you begin preparing for INICT? And did you work in any clinic while studying or did you focus solely on the preparation? Uh, hello. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you so much for this opportunity. Uh, during my preparation, also, it, it, this was also one of my dreams to okay, one day I'll sit in one platform and share about my journey to all the aspirants. <laughs> Uh, so this is, it's my pleasure to be here. Uh, talking about uh, my journey, um, everything starts with a dream. Okay. <laughs> so mine is also started with a small dream. I remember in my third year, I was randomly going through some YouTube videos. Uh, so I suddenly uh, came across one testimonial video of series of one aim stopper. Then only I realized, okay, uh, there is MDS in AIMS also. <laughs> and there are coaching centers for, uh, for that. Then I got curious and I started researching and I got to know all the procedures. So from that, I, uh, I was uh, a little bit, uh, uh, okay, I want to do MDS in a good government college at least. Uh, so I was very sure that after internship, what I have to do. I never had plan B. Uh, I have to go to clinic and do side by side. I've never had any other options other than studying, sitting and studying uh, for the exam. Uh, so during my internship, I joined uh, Satellite Batch of CTS itself. Uh, I was regular with classes. Uh, I was regular uh, going and uh, taking down the notes but I couldn't follow the preparation as such because I was more into extracurricular activities also uh, so I couldn't do so much of uh, my preparation in during my internship but, but I was regular with all the classes and such lectures so after that after my internship uh, got over in October 2022 uh, I went to Davangere in in a week or something like I shifted to Davangere and I had uh, around four months uh, for my upcoming NEET. NEET was in March. So four months, I uh, did my level best. Like I oh, I did whatever I can do in that four months. I tried to do pulse at least two times. Uh, then I appeared for my NEET in March. Uh, I got a ranking of 736. Uh, even though it was my first attempt, even though I couldn't prepare so much, I was a little disturbed with my ranking actually. Uh, I thought, oh, I couldn't even be in top 500. Uh, but I never had any other option of uh, getting into a private college or uh, started uh, starting going to clinic or something. I was like, till I get the seat, I will do my preparation. That was in my mind, actually. Then I prepared for the May INICT, which was in uh, May 2023 INICT. Mm, I got a ranking of 300. Uh, then, okay, I thought, okay, let's prepare for the next meet, uh, which was in March 2024 meet. Then during my preparation of uh, NEET, I got through November INICT with second time. So this is my journey. And yeah, no, I have never uh, been into clinic and all during my preparation. I was completely focused on my preparation. Uh, I was in Davangere. I was in life, uh, life center of series. I was there. Uh, AIMS was, uh, nobody can expect. Expect a seat in AIMS. Like AIMS was, I no, no one can say, okay, I prepared for AIMS. I wanted to be in AIMS only. Everyone prepares for NEET. Uh, AIMS is like uh, a jackpot. You can't say you will get into an AIMS or not. But yeah, uh, for me also, while preparing, I also write everywhere AIMS. And uh, I, in early, it was the like, okay, uh, nothing is best than getting into an AIMS. I'm now sitting in my JR room of department. <laughs> so, 
so it feels good it feels best to be here yeah over me sorry i can't hear you yes ma'am what was your biggest motivation okay. to pursue iict exam uh motivation to pursue iict not even iict motivation to pursue any competitive exam only comes from passion like uh, you should have a passion you shouldn't be doing for anyone others like you should be doing for yourself uh, if you have passion no one can ever stops you from doing what you like so you should be sure first ki what you have to do in you are like uh, you have to go to go for pg or you have to set up you are you want to set up a clinic or something uh, for me it was purely my decision to go to davangere sidgar study there it's not it was not my parents decision it was not my friends uh, suggestion nothing so it made me stay the stick to the like study uh, so for everything you should have a passion and dedication motivation everything comes from passion only whatever you are doing not even exam whatever you are doing in life you should do it with passion uh so for me it was like that only uh, you should crave for that seat you should literally manifest you getting it every day and the yeah, miracle will happen nothing hard work always beats talent that's nice mom um uh, mom how did you structure your study schedule uh, did you follow any specific time management strategy <clears throat> uh i used to study in library uh so uh, i'll go to library and my day starts by like 8 am i'll start my schedule and i'll sit uh, in library till 12 night uh i'll take breaks like lunch break tea breaks and in, in between uh, till uh, 12 i'll sit in library and after coming room i'll sit for one one and a half hours more by solving some app questions or something uh, so till 1 130 my uh, day will go so mostly most of the days it was like that only and study strategy i don't believe in making time double for 6 7 months and all uh, it don't last so i always believe uh, in making short term time tables like for a month uh, i will uh, i will plan ke okay this month i will do uh, i will cover these many portions and in that month also like this week i have to complete till this uh, so you have to split your uh, day like you have to split your week you have to split your month uh you have to have a raw idea of what you are doing not it's like you have uh, you have to literally write in paper and follow the the same to the same doing this it doesn't matter you just have to have a raw idea ki okay uh, this month i am going to do this this week i am going to do this and always uh, assign different tasks in a day assign different tasks like don't sit with pulse for the entire day you will get saturated you will get brain so always try to do uh splitting uh ki okay from this am uh, for morning session i will do pulse evening i will do some app whatever coaching institute you are in i will do the app mc mcqs uh then for night if you are doing any extra books or something night i might do that and 2 3 hours uh, for revision also revising your older subjects also it's fine so uh study strategy is always uh, i i will say it's different from individual to individual because whatever works for me might not work for you so always you have to figure out what is your uh, what is your study uh, strategy you have to always make your own time table you have to make your own uh, study preparation and always be comfortable and be confident with your preparation than others uh, because <clears throat> everybody is different right So always be confident with your preparation and believe in whatever you are doing. Don't study in doubt. Ki am I doing right or wrong? Whatever you are doing, just keep reading, and it will everything will work out one day. Uh, ma'am, what was your primary study material? Uh, and do you think dental pulse is uh, sufficient? And this is a a common question that is always running the back of a, a need or an ICT aspirant. Ki is dental pulse enough? so uh, can you please tell me what was your primary source dental pulse is the bible okay. dental pulse is something uh, what everyone follows most 99 percentage of the people follows dental pulse so dental pulse is the bible uh, first you have to be confident with pulse 
to go to other things it's it's not like i'm sitting with pulse i have not uh, i've not read pulse properly now i'll go to some extra books and do that uh you can't afford to make mistakes uh on questions which is coming from pulse because pulse is read by everyone and uh that question will decide your rank not the, even that question that concepts will decide your rank so you should be confident with pulse first then for extra ads oh, yes surely you can go to extra things but not in the start of preparation uh, if you are a freshy if you are starting your preparation uh, first go through your pulse properly make your pulse strong then after your third or fourth revision yeah second or third revision if you are feeling okay now i want something extra i have to i have to get something extra okay you can go for extra books like for example for clinical subjects if you are saying uh, community vivek jain is there for epidem and bios that it's a beautiful book uh, for ortho sharanil sharani is there it's not like you have to go through the entire book for some uh, portions like appliances and diagnosis you can go through sharan uh, for ortho mm -hmm. and uh, dentist uh, for some clinical subjects like pedo prosto endo uh, going through one reading of dentist is also good uh, because for revision you can't go through all the books at a time uh, you ha you should have the revision should be precise you sh uh, the materials you are revising should be precise so you have to concise all the information in one thing uh, for your revision so it's not possible to revise every book uh, during the last month so Uh, after uh, your pulse you can have one good reading of uh, some extra book if you have time only if you have time not like you have to do and you can note down that extra points in your pulse or some notes and you can revise nothing to nothing wrong in doing extra things but dental pulse is very important dental pulse is the basics uh, it's always good doing one book n number of times than doing n number of book one time uh if you have been revised it's same as you have not read so uh, always be strong with your pulse and for extra books uh you can go but it's not a compulsory thing i would say because the simple questions will decide your rank the basic questions will decide your rank not the high five thing that's uh, that's a very important uh, aspect ma'am that uh Acing your seventy percent of basics will take you ahead than uh, focusing on the high five questions. That's true. yes, yes, yes. Well, yes. Uh, so, ma'am, uh, how many MCQs did you typically solve per day, and did you have a specific approach for tackling tackling the practice questions? I don't keep a count on MCQs and all <laughs> solving, but yeah, through the end of the preparation, like last month and all. it's purely question answer question answer i uh, i was not doing explanation parts because uh, i was pretty confident with the explanation part and i i don't want to waste time on so much of theory okay. so uh, for last one month i tried to do uh, at least like 1000 questions per day wow. i don't keep a count and all but it will it will reach it will uh, like when you get into that stage na like last one month you have to you have to get exposed to so much of mcqs automatically you will be doing you you have to be that fast and by the end of the end of the journey you will do that like if you are if you have done a good preparation throughout the year you will be able to do that like question answer question answer question answer it's just like that and uh, practicing uh, mcqs i will i will i would say mm, so if you are giving mocks and all if you are in any coaching centers like uh, you will be giving mocks so don't just uh don't just concentrate on the question and the answer like uh go through the other options also and think why other options are not the answer and also think when these options might be the answer so if you analyze one question in that way uh it will be very easy for you to play with the mcqs uh you are just not by hearting you, you you have to get one question you have to make different questions from that one question that is that is one good thing you can do while practicing mcqs and giving test series is very important uh analyze uh, to analyze where you stand uh, always if you are giving a mock and all always analyze your 
like where you stand ki okay these many questions i have done because of my silly mistakes uh, these many questions i have over attempted i shouldn't have attempted this question and these many questions i got wrong because i haven't revised well so always split your mistakes into different categories and always try to avoid the silly mistakes part that is very important so uh, by practicing questions you can uh, you can actually get to know ki okay this is how i have to work with mcqs Uh, Ma'am, for aspirants struggling with medical subjects, ah, uh, do you have any specific advice or recommended resources? For INICT, I'm talking ah uh, medical subjects ah uh, don't come into so much of importance. You just have to be good with pulse and repeat. Ah, uh, don't go too much behind, be, like beyond that. Ah, uh, for NEET, yes, medical and clinical subjects are equally important. So medical subjects also you have to be strong with. uh for that if you need uh if you are talking about extra books uh, i would say uh, pharmacology sparsh gupta i have done pharma from sparsh sparsh gupta only uh, it's a beautiful book uh, all chapters it's very beautiful and uh, for pathology also uh, sparsh is there uh, if you want to do uh, burns uh, and uh, cell injury uh, inflammation part and all uh, neoplasia you can go through sparsh gupta patho and uh, pradesh singh is there for general surgery uh, you can go for thyroid uh, and uh, trauma shock and all uh, through Pr- pradesh singh and uh, for bacteria in micro you can go through arvind arora but these things are not uh, what i say these things are not like you have to go through these things to get a rank it's just that for your confidence for your extra ads you can go one reading just one reading not more than that i would suggest don't sit with extra books and all for revision extra books are not for revision so if you are feeling like okay i am not confident in this subject in this part you can take these extra books and just give a one reading and take down the important points for revising pulse pulse is the basics like for medical subjects also pulse is enough to get the concepts clear and ma'am what advice would you give to interns just starting their inict preparation internship is the best period to start your preparation i also started my journey in internship only uh, because internship is something you don't have any commitments like you don't have this pressure i am giving this one year uh, you can freely study it's not like you have to sit 10 to 12 hours per day in internship it's not possible also uh but at least if you can give 2 uh, 3 hours 4 hours daily uh at least uh, if you can complete your one reading of pulse in internship it's great and there are so many people i know who have cracked inict and neat also in internship so it's not something which is not possible so if you are actually want to uh, if you actually want to do the preparation seriously if you are so much interested in it start an internship internship itself Uh, do st- do join a coaching or something, uh, and try to attend that test series. Try to complete the pulse. For interns, uh, only you should focus on pulse, not so much extra things. Like only you will get time for that only. So pulse is in, no, pulse is enough. Ma'am, how did you approach revising all subjects in the months leading up to the exam, and uh, how many times did you typically revise each subject? Okay, I I don't know how many times I've revised. I've revised a number of times wow. because I always study for the up, upcoming exam. Okay. Like wow. uh, when I went after October, uh, my March need was coming, so I have to complete all the portions till that March. That was my goal. So I come. I tried to do uh two two to three revisions in that four months. uh i had all the lecture notes i had everything i just did some clinical subjects during my internship nothing no basics i have touched so in that four months i tried to do a uh, pretty two readings of pulse and after that my goal was next i nicit may i nicit so for that may i nicit i again tried to do one to two readings of pulse again okay. then after that for november i nicit also two to three readings so minimum six times so i have revised obviously uh, then while revising also uh, when 
after completing two three subjects you have to go to the previous one otherwise it's zero okay. you have to just go to the previous subject and just a fresh up it's not like again you sit with every question answer uh, just do a brief revision uh, a rough revision also you can do so always try to do uh, old thing old subjects and new subjects try to play with old and new subjects uh because you can't let go all subjects while moving uh forward because after 6 7 months if you are taking that subject again it will be full new so always try to uh revise uh the older subjects along with the new subject that is also so i don't know how many times i have revised i have i've revised with the older one also i have done new also 6 7 to minimum i have done So, ma'am, did you find it helpful to refer to the pre papers from the previous year's I N I C T exams? And if so, why did you find them, ma'am? Yes, yes. For I N I C T, repeats are very important. Uh, nowadays, uh, last few years papers, uh, uh, like around seventy percent, they are coming from repeats. Uh, so it's very important for I N I C T to get uh rep your repeats strong. Uh, I done my repeats from uh, Red Book, which is uh, CDs. Uh, CDs uh, package was the Red Book. It has all the repeats uh, and all PGI papers, all SR papers. Uh, so I tried to do repeats like around three four times minimum. Uh, like in my daily schedule, I assigned uh, from this a this uh, time to this time. I will be doing repeats every day. So I have separate slot for my repeat session in my preparation. uh and for books i am telling there are uh, in 25 uh there is uh, dental triplet and also previous uh after subject in pulse also there is previous paper session is also available uh you can go through that also while revising subject only like you can go through the previous paper session uh, if you want to if you want an extra book a uh, dental triplet is a good book in 25 is a good book and red book is what i have done the thing is aims don't publish their key uh, so uh, you don't know you you get the questions but you are, there are so many controversy uh, controversial questions were there like while we we are preparing key we do uh, so many resources uh, different answers are there so because aims never publishes their key so this is also very important to know ki what to uh what to attempt how to attempt because you can't completely rely on a book maybe their key might be wrong and maybe the question might be also wrong uh how to say the, the question you saw in the book maybe not the same they are asking actually so in your exam you have to read the question properly for that your concepts should be clear you will think okay this is the question i have read in that book okay that was the key i will go and mark this and this answer maybe the question they are asking might be different so for that it's not like you have to by heart the repeats that what i am telling you have to go through the repeats but by going through the repeats also you have to understand what you are studying so that if they ask the question in a twisted manner also you are you are able to arrive at the answer actually uh, this is what helped me most i think because i have i was not just by hearting the repeats because if if you are by hearting the repeats everyone most of the people are going through the repeats most of the people knows uh, the repeat questions answers uh, but uh, the thing which differentiates you from the other people is have you conceptually learned that questions so when the when they ask uh, the questions if there is any twisted uh if if there is anything twisted in that question you are able to arrive at the answer so that is what which was helpful for me ma'am then what was your last one strategy for the final preparation of iict ma'am a uh, last one strategy is like uh the throughout the year you are preparing yourself for that last month actually yeah because last month is very crucial Uh, people are asking me ma'am four to five months is this okay three to four months is this okay actually throughout your preparation you are preparing yourself for that last one month because last one month is very important whatever you did in your one year never matters if you 
get out of crack in that last one month so yeah. last one month uh, for me it was like 30 days in last one month 20 days i will do my 20 subjects one subject per day and last 10 days again i will go through entire my subject because last 10 days if i have in if i have not seen entire subjects i will be like under confident i will be little out of confidence ki i have not i have not seen that subject okay so it's not like seeing subject doesn't mean ki you are doing everything question answer explanation question answer explanation no uh, throughout your preparation um, you have done like four or five uh, readings you will be able to know what are the what are the gray areas what are the areas i have to see so last 10 days i made sure i am touching all the subjects uh, and i'm seeing that uh, things uh, the areas which i am not confident that concepts which are tricky uh, like uh, the most uh, volatile subjects volatile things volatile concepts so for that your entire preparation matters because your and from your entire preparation only you will be able to know what all the things you have to focus on that last 10 days okay so uh, plan your schedule accordingly so that you are able to know the last 10 days what you have to do it's different for everyone it's not like my week uh, subject is not your week subject yes so you have to know what 10 days you are uh, last 10 days what you have to do but make sure you see all the subject just just touch all the subject okay so that is what i followed in last 10 days and last one month i tried to do all subjects in one subject per day and last 10 days also like everything uh ma'am can you share your strategy for attending the inict exam itself like uh, how did you manage your time during the exam during the test ma'am time was not a problem because uh, we are we are we have given n number of test series uh, during our preparation itself like uh, time was not at all a problem uh, this inict exam was pattern was different uh, only 3 4 days before exam we got to know uh, this pattern is different uh, 200 questions they have uh, they have split the 200 questions into four part 50 questions each and 45 minutes for one section so after one section after you exit from one section you can't go back to that section so that is tricky also because you can't go back and correct uh, and uh, correct the questions so you have to be very precise in attempting one section and you have to know ki how much question i should leave in one section because you don't know what's coming in next section yes so that is that was a tricky part uh, but i don't know this uh, this helped me a lot this section wise thing because I have to only concentrate on 50 questions at a time I don't have to think about three, uh, 200 questions so for me I felt it was helpful uh, 45, I tried to complete my one reading in around 20-25 minutes and I have again around 15-20 minutes left for my 2-3 readings 2-3 uh, uh, readings extra so I could go through all the questions 2 times at least uh, in my exam uh, so time was not at all a problem so always uh, try to do like the questions you are sure of attempt and questions you are not sure of attempt and mark for review but for INICT mark for review won't count won't be counted if you are att attempted and mark for review won't count it so uh, make sure that if you mark for review also like after that you go back and clear it out so that small small things you have to keep in mind because that three hours is very important whatever you do uh, in your preparation that three hours will decide ki where you are going to stand so you have to be mentally very calm for that day uh, making yourself calm is very important because in my need i was little uh, stressed but uh, last inict i was comparatively calm i guess uh, and every question you say to yourself, like, this is my question. This is my question. Like, you are going to get it. You are going to get it. Try to avoid all the silly mistakes. If you, if they, uh, our sir will say, if the question is simple, go slower. 
that you have to do like simple if if the question is simple you will get that adrenaline rush and you will just mark it and you will leave maybe there is something uh, twist in that maybe something they will like, ask like except <laughs> so uh, if the question is simple go slower because simple questions will either make you or break you so try don't uh, you are not uh, getting wrong in that in the questions which you know that is important uh, ma'am do you believe the coaching institutes are necessary for achieving a good rank and if so uh, can you discuss the pros and cons of attending such institutes coaching institutes are always helpful only uh, i don't think there is any cons in attending a coaching institute i i was in cds i was in cds uh, i was a cds life student uh, coaching will give you a foundation see uh, the work you have to do it's not like any coaching uh, institute will guarantee you a seat or something the work you have to do but coaching institute play like uh, there are 20 subjects you don't know uh, what to read because it's not able to read everything on that 20 subject uh, in one year or something so coaching will guide you ke how to approach a subject uh, what all things you have to do uh, like what all portions you have to focus on so this is one big advantage being in a coaching institute you will get an idea okay this is how i have to follow follow my schedule the another big advantage is the test series uh, because attending test series is very important very very important because it will feel uh, like your main exam like an another test series if you have done the test series part properly and you are competing with uh, so many people so in your if it's very important you have to analyze yourself ki where you stand so for that also mock series is very important uh, you will get a rank you will analyze okay uh, this is my progress uh, this is where i went wrong uh, it's it's not like you just attempt and you let it go you have to analyze the paper you have to go through it thoroughly ki where i went wrong uh, why i went wrong that is also important this question i went wrong this is because i just attempted out of knowledge yeah this is is this a silly mistake or is this because i didn't revise so for that things attending a coaching institute is very important we give you idea ki where you stand and also if i am talking about cds reason sir is a big motivation uh sir uh, lectures as voice not is a big motivation so coaching institute will provide you motiv- motivation also like when you feel low uh, you will see uh, like sir's voice messages and all you will get fresh up so coaching institute is always a go- a good thing to uh, start with your preparation but no coaching institute will guarantee you rank the hard work you have to do if you want the seat you have to sit and study uh, it doesn't mean you join the coaching you got the seat yeah. just like that ma'am do you think it's possible for an average undergraduate student to crack i n i c t with a top rank why not <laughs> i was i was a, i was a pretty good student but not university topper and all uh, but i have seen uh students uh, who have failed even in ugs getting into neat and uh, inict your ug and your pg preparation have no relationship no not, no relationship is there between your ug and pg pg is entirely your one year of hard work if you have talent you are not ready to work hard nothing is going to happen uh but if you are a average student but you are ready to sit and work for it the miracle will happen you will get the seat and there are so many examples so many examples out there you are uh, like who are very low average students uh, worked hard got the seat now doing great in their pg so it's it's not like you are uh, only uh, uh, only this kind of people can get through it it's everybody's cup of tea don't think it's not my cup of tea and something Yeah. but you just you should have a dedication you should have a passion and you should be knowing what you are you shouldn't do anything with confusion ki am i doing right uh, should i prepare not prepare it shouldn't be like that 
uh, so always try to avoid distractions as much as possible uh, for me i was i was a very social person i like to talk to people <laughs> Uh, so uh, for me i want i need an isolation so i went to the amgere stayed there and i studied so always uh, see what is your distraction and try to avoid that and try to do hard work and it will always pay pay off one day so ma'am you have joined aims new delhi and uh, you are the part of department of uh, omfs uh, no prosto Okay, Prosto, ma'am. So you are uh, in the department of prosthodontics. So, ma'am, what are your future plans mm -hmm. right now? As of now, there is no future plans on and all. I am just a fresh resident. I have three years to explore. Uh, future plan is learning only. Uh, lots of uh, things are left to learn, evolve, and grow. Uh, so yeah, like I'm I'm a part of prosthetic dentistry now. So I have to. uh explore all the aspects of prosthetic dentistry so by the end of 3 years if any plans will come i'll go for that till now for now it's just make use of all the privilege of aims i have in prosto ma'am uh, may i know why you choose prosto was like prosto the always the first option no it was not like that uh, prosto was not always my first option and all uh, but prosto is something which i am actually lacking confidence and knowledge i think most of the ugs will agree prosto is a branch uh, where everyone everyone is little left right to touch on uh, so uh, i had this like uh, my for my uh, general category my seat was available in prosto but it's not like i didn't like prosto and all uh and prosto is a beautiful subject uh, you can uh, you can do so many things in prosto you can do all as aspect and you can make people smile patient satisfaction is more in prosto and prosto is a challenging subject so uh, i tried to challenge myself taking prosto <laughs> and it's beautiful the journey it is prosto here prosto is very very beautiful like you will get to do n number of cases different different varieties of cases life is little hectic uh because all the lab work we have to do so we have to sit in the lab and do till night midnight and all but this is this tiredness is something which i prayed for one day okay so yeah it's good Uh, now uh, if anyone in the audience has any questions uh, yeah so ma'am one student is asking how much rank is necessary for getting into ortho and endo in iict and which state is better for aims and what is the fee schedule in general category uh first question was like for ortho how much rank is necessary for getting into ortho and endo ma'am it depends it depends on your category it depends on seat matrix uh, for this time uh, ortho in delhi uh, was like two seats were there uh, for one for uh, general and one for obc uh, at least uh, if you are a general cat if you are in general category you have to be at least in under top 10 uh, to get into a good uh, seat and uh, i think if you are on obc or something you can go uh, the rank can go till 30 or something uh, it purely depends on the seat matrix you can't say anything uh, but yeah uh, below 10 only you can sure assure that you will get a seat okay. it's just like that and which state is better for aims ma'am aims delhi is the best <laughs> <laughs> as far as i know in delhi is the best <laughs> <laughs> and ma'am what is the fee schedule in general category ma'am it's around 650 rupees for the entire three years okay uh ma'am uh, dr nancy is asking how to start pulse uh the mcqs and synopsis and then app questions uh uh well start pulse with synopsis if you are a 
pressure i am saying like start pulse with synopsis little bit of uh, concept reading or if you have any coaching notes you can do that also before start doing mcqs uh, but during your revision you follow retro study because like start do uh, questions first and uh, mcq part first then just brush up the synopsis if you are a fresh tea starting start with synopsis part get some concepts then try going back to the mcqs and attempting and for revisions do mcq part first then do the synopsis like a brush in it and last last may you can see that okay this part of synopsis i don't want to read like you should know which uh, which you know and which you don't know don't waste time so much on things you already know you have to be smart than working hard okay uh ma'am dr amrita is asking uh, how many questions should we attempt for getting a good rank how many questions you Sh should we attempt? doesn't matter okay okay like uh, i attempted uh, 194 uh, questions sorry 196 questions out of 200 uh, 161 questions were 161 question was correct uh it doesn't matter how many questions you attempt it depends on how many questions you make correct i think but for a good uh good round i can say around 192 to 196 is okay don't leave more than 20, 10 questions for inicp like it might cost you cost your run and don't over attempt also don't attempt 200 to 200 okay leave at least three four questions Okay. Uh, Ma'am, Doctor Nancy is asking, what are the privilege of being a uh, AIM student uh, other than stipend? How is the hostel, Ma'am? She is asking about the environment of hostel at AIMS, Ma'am. Hostel is like there uh, here. Uh, there is a residential complex for AIMS itself. Hostel facilities are uh, good. Uh, like one uh, BHK. is available for married people and a single room is available for the other non married residents hostel facilities and environment is good and infrastructure in aims is very good you will get all the facilities uh, patient exposure is very good uh, you will because all the if i am talking about my department pro so all the cancer patients are coming to aims delhi uh, from different parts of the state uh so i think uh, infrastructure patient exposure uh, facilities and the aims tag while you get grad after getting post graduation like the aims tag itself is important uh, other than stipend so many so many other factors are there which makes aims aims <laughs> uh, ma'am dr madhu is asking how many questions to be uh, needs to be correct in inicit and i'm facing difficulty in test test series uh, i'm taking uh, so much time in learning from exams uh. okay uh inicit the seats are very less so the competition is very high so you can you are not afford to make so much of uh, mistakes in inicit exam as of i told my 161 questions were correct <laughs> so i think around minimum you have to make uh around 150 to 160 questions correct to get into a good rank in inicit and depends on the paper like if the paper is tough you are you can make the it, it will be a low scoring paper so you you can make more mistakes also it doesn't matter but the if the paper is very easy the competition will be very easy so it will be very high scoring paper so you are not a pro you can't afford to make so much of mistakes uh, and what was the other question uh ma'am uh, it was a previous uh, like a repeated kind of a question ma'am uh like okay. she is saying that she is facing difficulty in test series uh, and it's taking okay. time to learn things and uh, attempt uh, faster so what advice would you give uh like give time if you are taking time give time and learn because it will take time to get into a flow uh, it, it's not like you start now and 
uh, you will get that speed of doing a uh, thousand MCQs per day. And uh, coming to test series, I would say, uh, after test series, as I said, as I said earlier also, like after te test series, analyze your paper. That is very important. It's not just about attempting your exam and uh, letting it go. Analyze your paper and uh, write in a book key, okay, this, this paper, this many questions I went wrong, this many questions I got correct. And among the questions you went wrong, uh, make a table like, Oh, these questions I went wrong because of my lack of revision. These questions I knew the answer, but it was my silly mistake. These questions I shouldn't have, I have I shouldn't have attempted, but I attempted. It was a new new knowledge question. I should have left this question. So according to that, you can uh, generalize. Uh, key, okay, uh, this is the part where I'm lagging. So analyzing your paper is important. So slowly, slowly you will. Uh, get to know also ki, okay uh, I am making more of silly mistake yeah I am over attempting so this is how you can correct your test series pattern a little bit and also um, uh, concentrate on concentrate on that sub, uh, concepts which you are making continuously wrong you will uh, you will see ki, okay this part I am making continuously wrong so go back to that subject not not going back and study that question go back and study that concept understood if i am making a question wrong in apexogenesis don't study that question and answer and leave go study that apexogenesis concept completely so that is also help, helpful and if you are taking time give time and slowly slowly you will get faster don't rush anything and less is actually more do less things and number of times don't try to do so much. Then you will get confused also. Okay, okay, I have to do this. I have to do that. So yeah. try to keep it less than minimum. Ma'am, that was a very insightful advice that you have given. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, Dr. Somish is asking, uh, should I do SR papers now? Since I'm starting with something new, will it hamper my revision? Uh, I mean, basically... Doing SR... Uh, SR paper, sh should it be done at the end of uh, solving the whole pulse or should it be done in the beginning or in the middle? It shouldn't be. It, it's not something you have to do along with your pulse and all. It's just for INICT, okay? okay. Uh, INICT, there is this pattern of repeating one or two SR questions from the SR papers. So after doing everything, you can go one or two reading of SR papers just for that one or two questions. So it's not necessary uh, you have to do SR papers from the start of your preparation, nothing like that. Last one month of INICT, uh, while doing your repeat, along with that, you can do one or two readings of SR papers also. Okay. Just, just that, that is enough. And if you are starting your preparation, don't bother too much on these things. Uh, Ma'am, Dr. Nancy is asking, did you make any notes for uh, every subject? No, not every subject and all. I'm not a note person, first of all. There are people I know who, who make beautiful notes and study and cracking exam. If you can do that, well, I am not a note person. If I make notes, so much of note, notes also, I can't study. I like to revise my pulse and I like to note down points on side of my pulse only. Uh, but the notes which I've made was like search lectures, I had notes. And if I'm doing some extra books uh, like dentist or something, I put down some notes on that. And uh, for pharmacology, I did from Sparsh Gupta. So I note down some points from Sparsh, in, uh, Sparsh Gupta also so that it would be easy for me to revise. So it's not like every subject you have to keep uh, writing notes and at the at the last one month, you will have a bundle of notes to revise. It's not possible. Uh, to make your uh, make your preparation easy, don't complicate it. So if you are, but if you are a good, uh, if you are good to go with notes, if you can revise notes, notes is good. Okay, uh, ma'am. Doctor Odisha is asking. Can one prepare without coaching? Uh, I have last year series notes and lecture papers, but I can't uh, afford test series this time. So can I prepare without coaching? 
if you have such lectures and uh, notes you can prepare without joining also uh, like if you know ki what all things you have to do for test series if you can't afford uh, like coaching institute test, test series there are apps like pulp meritors which provide free test series as also there are so many apps which provide free test series uh, so you can take one of that app and but always try to do test series try to give test series because test series is very important even if it's from a coach, coaching or out of coaching doesn't matter but uh, test series will give you time management and will get will get to know ki like where you stand so there are so many free test series also available in so many apps are there you can try that uh ma'am for inict exam uh, what what type of med medical subjects i need to focus uh, dr g is asking ma'am which medical subject anatomy okay anatomy is important uh pharmacology is important a little bit of microbiome is important at least anatomy pharmacology uh dm these things you have to be like properly you have to go through that Ma'am, Doctor Shreya is asking, uh, will our NEET ranking judge our INICT ranking? No, no, not at all. Your NEET ranking will give you confidence for your INICT ranking. It won't. It's not a deciding factor because INICT is totally different. NEET is totally different board game. Uh, NEET has more of conceptual questions. Uh, more of uh, basic clinicals they are equally divided but inict is more of clinical questions uh, you have to be good at clinical part than the basic part and you have to go through repeats and all uh, so neat and inict you can't compare it's totally different uh, but yeah your mindset will mat is ma what matters because if you get if you get a good rank in neat you, you will have this confidence ki, okay i can do well in inict also for that it matters but uh, for uh, neat i would say okay like if you get a good rank in neat you can do well in inict also maybe ma'am dr sakshi is asking how much time basically is needed for solving a sash paper i'm taking so much time for one paper itself no 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 you can you can give so much of time for sash papers because it's just you are doing that for just one or two questions so uh, last one month at least one or two reading is enough for sash papers don't waste too much time on sash papers and sash papers is something which is just which will be just repeated so you don't have to take too much of your brain on that just see the question see the answer that's it ma'am dr anand is asking uh, what was your ranking and how did you maintain the same ranking in the series test series and what was your score ranges in the institute in series test uh, test series my ranking was uh, under 150 always not above 150 but not in top 10 i was never in top 10 in series exam my best rank was in series exam was 19 19 uh but i was uh, i maintained my ranking in 100 150 always uh ma'am dr riya is asking uh ma'am triplet has a huge sr questions is it enough to do from red book for sr questions i did sr questions from red book only I think that's enough. Uh, Ma'am, Doctor Shruti is asking. In my internship period, I was a series classroom student. Now I want to mm -hmm. repeat. Uh, so should I take offline or online? Like which mode is enough? See, offline and online uh, differs in your mindset. Because if you want a uh, a good study environment. Uh, if you want a competitive and when when you have to isolate if you want to isolate yourself you can go uh, take a offline uh, center you can sit there you can isolate yourself and study offline is for such lectures is a uh, project offline is such lectures happening in live and online center such lectures are projected uh, projected so 
there is no another difference between online and offline coaching uh, both are same except that sir you can see sir live in live classes offline centers all back, like left all is your mindset if you are good to go uh, in studying in room your home at your comfort zone and cracking good rank it's always better to be in home i was someone i need some isolation i i love to i love to study under pressure i need that competitive environment so i just went and i stayed there and i studied so it depends on you like you need an offline course or an online course uh, ma'am how many mcq needs to be done in one day uh, for the inic thing doctor for Sa this one last this coming one month you are asking or yeah, from the starting itself uh, ma'am from the starting itself ma don't start with too much of questions uh, in the beginning itself like always take it slow don't rush uh, start with like 10 50 questions per day then make it to 100 then make it to 150 200 so by the end of your preparation last one month you will get that uh, hand of doing around 800000 questions per day always start slow and raise your capacity like do because la starting you will be doing everything like question answer explanations uh like you will completely uh reading everything but by by the end of different revisions you will be able to uh, skip explanation parts and last one month it should be just question answer question answer just like that uh ma'am one student is asking uh can you can we take other coaching other than cds or anything uh, like would any other coaching institute is better than series oh, i don't really know about other coaching institutes and all uh, but uh, if taking too much things shouldn't uh, pressurize you that you have to take care of i, I last time also i told ki doing n number of things one time is not good do than doing one thing a number of times so whatever you are doing you stick to that whichever coaching institute you are in try to stick to that but for mcqs if you want more exposure to get uh, on mcqs you can take some pulp meritors and all uh, just for that questions i am telling not as such coaching institute try to give one test series one coaching institute test series don't do so many test series and all but for if you want to uh, get explored with so much of mcqs in the last last not in the starting i am telling last last me like if you want to do more of mcqs part you can uh, take some apps there are so many app coaching apps are there not institute coaching apps like meritors pulp i think they have pretty good questions you can get exposed to that also okay ma'am uh ma'am dr anand is asking what are the books you bought other than pulp <laughs> uh can you please repeat books i bought yeah books i said like uh, ma'am can you because like, see the books that you read i i just had okay okay i just had the pdf you don't need to buy everything okay just uh, take pulse and you can get pdf from telegram and all you can go through that uh, for uh, sparsh uh, for pharmacology you can go through sparsh gupta and for uh, microbiology for bacteria part uh, that is little tricky uh, so arvind arora is good for bacteria uh, general for general surgery you can uh, go through pradesh singh one book is there uh, for trauma shock burns thyroid and all you can go through that and for pathology sparsh gupta is there again uh, you can go through in neoplasia uh, cell injury and all and coming to clinical subjects uh, you can uh, go through vivek jain for epidem and biostat uh, for ortho you can go through sharan uh, for appliances and diagnosis and some uh, dentist for some clinical subjects like pedo uh, endo prosto and all these things are not like necessary you have to go through but if you think one subject after doing pulse okay i am not confident with this subject i need more questions then you can go it's not like you should do that because there is no so much of uh, time with us to do all of these things to revise all of these things yes, so you have to be smart okay okay ma'am 
Yeah. Uh, ma'am, uh, that's the end of the question and answer session. Uh, thank you, ma'am, for sharing such a valuable information and advices. I feel like you have given honest answer for each questions and uh, audience has uh, shared so many questions, all the like uh, questions that every, every student has in the mind. And uh, you gave answers so honestly and so patiently. Uh, so thank you so much, yeah. ma'am. I'm pretty sure whoever is going to attend this interview, they will have a different approach towards the NICT preparation because I wish I was, I like, I met you like before, uh, before my NICT preparation. So uh, I'm, uh, so I'm pretty hundred percent sure that this video is going to help a lot of students across the India. So thank you so much, ma'am. And uh, I really hope I see you in the future as a speaker. For any webinar, uh, <laughs> awesome channel. Thank you, thank you, uh, thank you so and, much. Uh, thank you. And I hope that all the students who have attended today's uh, session would would meet you in the future conferences or attend the. Yeah, um, I, I would love to meet each and everyone. <laughs> because see, like um, I wanted to break all the myths about the preparation because there are so many, uh, so many myths. Uh, going on you have to do like this you have to be like this it's all about it's all upon you it's not like uh, only you can get a seat by doing this thing you have to strategize your preparation i'm telling this again and again be confident with your preparation than others you have to strategize your journey you have to start so that one day you can sit like me and tell about your journey if you are doing somebody other's journey you can you can't share <laughs> so yeah Thank you for the opportunity. It was very good to speak to all of you. Thank you, ma'am. And I hope it helped. <laughs> I'm definitely helpful, ma'am, because there were so many, like the questions that I have shared with you. These were the common questions I had in my back of my mind. And then the audience added, you know, a better questions, like, uh, you know, the, the inbuilt questions in this whole interview. If a student sits for 45 minutes, they will have a full clarity and they're going to have the full josh. Okay, okay, this is how I'm supposed to do my preparation. This is how I'm supposed to start. Yes, yes it's my... all about the josh. It's all about the josh. <laughs> yes, ma'am. So... You should have the josh to get the seat. It's not, you, sh you should be... Uh... You should be craving for that seat every single day. And one day you will get it. It's all about the josh. It's not, it's not about where you belong, from which college you are in. I'm from a private college. Uh, how much knowledge you have in your day, it doesn't matter. It's all about one good year. I will completely dedicate to my preparation and I will end up into a good government college. That's it. No, no second thoughts, nothing. If you are preparing seriously, please stop going to clinics and all. Sit and study. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Ma'am, we'll take one okay. screenshot of uh, this interview session. So, yeah. Okay. Smile, ma'am. <laughs> yeah. I'll take one more. Yeah. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. And uh, we will be editing and posting this video on YouTube channel soon. So I hope if anybody has any doubts, uh, you can reach out to ma'am through her social media channel. And uh, you can, or otherwise, you can send us your questions and we will forward that same to ma'am. And uh, she can respond back and I'll share the answers in the WhatsApp group. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Okay, bye. Thank you, ma'am. Take bye, care. Bye.